Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMC. In this video, we are going to learn about patterns in class 1. We will be seeing how to create patterns using lines, shapes, numbers, alphabets and objects. We have seen about lines and shapes in detail in my previous videos. Links to those videos are given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us see how to create patterns using those lines and shapes now. Let us go into the details of this video now. First, let us understand what do we mean by patterns. Patterns means repetition in a logical way. When objects are repeated in a definite order, they form a pattern. Patterns help children make predictions. They begin to understand what will come next in the sequence. Patterns improve the logical thinking and reasoning skills of the children. Now that we have understood what do we mean by patterns, let us learn to create patterns with lines and curves. First, let us begin with simple patterns. We have a standing line followed by a sleeping line then a standing line and then a sleeping line. Can you guess what could be the next one? Yes, we will have a standing line and then a sleeping line again. Doesn't it make a pattern? Let us see the next example. Here we have a standing line followed by a sleeping line and then a backward slanting line. Once again we have a standing line so what can come next? Yes, you will have a sleeping line and then a reverse slanting line. Like this you can create any number of patterns. Let us see the next example. Here we have a forward slanting line, a sleeping line and then a backward slanting line. So if we have a forward slanting line next, it automatically indicates that the next repetition of the sequence could be a sleeping line followed by a reverse slanting line. Let us see more examples now. We have a V which is nothing but with two slanting lines. We have a inverted V followed by a forward V. Now, I have given two spaces over here. Try to complete this pattern. We have a forward B, a inverted B, followed by a forward B in the picture. What could be the next? Yes, it will be an inverted B because the next pattern is a forward B and the pattern will end with a inverted B. We could frame different types of questions like this to make the children understand the pattern and sequencing and make them think and answer the questions. Let us see the next example. We have a C in the forward direction, a C in the backward direction. Then I have given a C in the backward direction followed by a C in the forward direction and there are spaces in between. Let us try to understand the pattern and fill the sequence. So first a forward C followed by a backward C, a gap and then a backward C. What could come in between? Yes, now we will have a forward C because next it is followed by a backward C, then a forward C. So it will end with a backward C. Next, we have a standing line, a backward C and an inverted V. I am trying to create a pattern with these three items. So let us next see. We have a standing line, a backward C, a gap and then again a standing line. With then a gap again and a inverted V. Let us try to fill in those gaps now. So here we have a standing line, a backward C, a inverted V, a standing line, a backward C. So it will be automatically followed by a inverted V. Next we have a standing line again with a gap in between followed by a inverted V. What could come in that gap now? A inverted C. So that completes this pattern. 
Let us see another example. We have 2u followed by 2 inverted u's. Can you think and complete this pattern now? We have 4 spaces given over here. What could be the next repetition? Yes, it will be 2 forward u's followed by 2 inverted u's. Don't they look very nice to see? Yes, let us now move on to creating patterns with shapes. We have learnt about shapes in our previous video. Let us see how to create patterns using shapes. What is this? This is a square followed by a circle. Next we have a square followed by a circle. So any guesses what could be the next one? Yes, it will be a square followed by a circle. Once again a square followed by a circle. This is a very simple pattern. Let us try and create more interesting and complex patterns. Here we have a rectangle followed by a triangle and then a circle. Next we have a rectangle. I have given a space followed by a circle. So what will be there in between? We saw that the pattern is created using rectangle, triangle and a circle. So rectangle with a space and then a circle. We will have to fill it up with a triangle in between. So this is the series. Next it will end with a rectangle once again because it is a rectangle, triangle, circle, rectangle, triangle, circle and then once again it has to move on to a rectangle again. So I have ended it with a rectangle. I am going to give you a pattern now. Understand and fill in the gaps. Circles followed by an oval, another circle, a gap in between, an oval and then a gap. And then a circle. Try to understand the pattern and fill in the gaps. So what will come in the first gap? Yes, you will have another circle. So the oval again will be followed by a circle because the pattern is two circles, one oval, two circles, one oval. So automatically the oval should be followed by two circles. Like this you can create many number of interesting patterns using shapes, lines or combinations of even both lines and shapes and make the children think logically and answer the questions. So next we are going to see creating patterns with lines and shapes. We have a standing line followed by a circle, a square and an oval. I think this is going to be the pattern. So understand and remember this and try to fill in the gaps. So once again we have a standing line, a circle, a gap in between and an oval. A gap in between followed by a circle. What is the pattern we saw? A standing line, circle, square, oval. So next we have to do standing line, circle. What is missing in between? A square. It is followed by an oval. So once again the series begins. After that what will you get after the oval? You will get a standing line once again because it is followed by a circle and the series goes on. Next we have a slanting line, a triangle, an inverted triangle and it is finished with a backward slanting line. Can you complete this pattern now? Yes, you will have to draw a forward slanting line, a triangle, an inverted triangle followed by a backward slanting line. Let us try to create this pattern again. A forward slanting line, a triangle, an inverted triangle and a backward slanting line. Doesn't it resemble a beautiful pattern? Let us do another example. We have a small circle, a slightly bigger circle, a medium sized circle followed by a large circle. Next we have a small circle followed by a little bigger circle. A little bit more bigger circle or a medium sized circle followed by a gap. Once again the pattern repeats small circle, a slightly bigger circle followed by a gap and ending with a larger circle. Let us complete this pattern now. The first gap you will be filling it with a larger circle and in the second gap you have the middle circle which is missing. So fill it up with the middle circle. Next we are going to learn patterns with alphabets. Stay with me till the end of this video as we are going to do patterns with numbers and patterns with objects too.
capital A followed by a small a, capital B followed by a small b. And then I have given a capital E ending with a small e. Now try to understand this pattern and fill in the gaps in between. We have a capital A followed by small a, capital B followed by small b and the pattern ends with capital E followed by small e. What could be the missing numbers or missing alphabets in between? Yes, we will have a capital C followed by a small c, capital D followed by a small d. Next pattern we are going to see is A, E, I, O, U. What are these? These are the vowels. Next, I am giving a A, E, a gap in between, a O, then a gap in followed by a small a again. Next, I have a gap in between followed by I with a gap in between followed by U. So, here we are trying to create a pattern by writing the vowels. Let us see what are the vowels which are missing and fill it up. So, A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I is missing. O followed by a U. Once again, the pattern repeats with A followed by E, I and O is missing between. So, add that and you complete the pattern. Next, we have A followed by 1, B followed by 2, C followed by a gap and D followed by a gap. And the pattern is ending with E followed by 5. What could be the numbers in the gap? Let us understand the pattern now. A is followed by 1, B is followed by 2. And in the end, we have E followed by 5. What could be the number following C? Yes, it will be 3 and the number following D will be 4. Doesn't this sound interesting and make the children think? Yes. Let us now move on to creating patterns with numbers. We have 1, 1, 2, 2, followed by 1, 1, a gap in between, followed by 1, 1. Now let us try to understand and fill the pattern. So 1, 1 will be followed by 2, 2. Once again, 1, 1 will be followed by 2, 2. So that is the pattern that I have created. 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2. Let us try to understand the next pattern. 2, 4, 6, 8. So, what do you understand from this? This is multiples of 2 or you can say that I am doing a skip counting using the number 2. So, what will be the next number? 10 followed by 12 followed by 14 and so on. So, you can create a pattern using skip counting number 2. Next. 5, 10, 15, a gap, 25. So fill in the gaps, it will be 20 and 25 will be followed by 30. What is this? This is nothing but skip counting by 5. You can create patterns like this also. Next we have 10 followed by 20, a gap with 40, a gap and then 60. This is nothing but skip counting by 10. So let us fill in the gaps now. 10, 20, 30, 40 followed by 50. Next we are going to see creating pattern with objects. Here I have a dice with number 1. Then 2, 3, 4, a gap in between and 6. What will come in the gap? A dice showing number 5. That will help to complete this pattern. Next we have 1. 2, a gap and the pattern ends with the number 6. So what will come in between? A dice showing number 3, number 4 and number 5. Next we are going to do another pattern with apples. I have 4 apples. I am arranging 3 apples above it. Try to understand and complete this pattern. What will be above this now? 2 apples followed by one apple and it creates a beautiful red triangle using the apples. Let us see another pattern. I have five balls over here. I am arranging four balls above it in this way. Now where should I arrange the next balls and how many balls should I arrange? Yes, since it is beginning with five followed by four, I will have to arrange three balls and the pattern of arrangement will be like this. 
followed by two balls and followed by one ball. Doesn't it look very beautiful? Next, I have a flower followed by a leaf. Then a flower followed by a leaf. What could be the next? Because there is a gap in between followed by a leaf. Yes, I will have a flower and end the pattern with a flower once again. Next, I have a smiley face, a sad face, a smiley face, followed by two gaps and the pattern ends with a sad face. What will be the pattern which is after the smiley face now? A sad face followed by a smiley face. We can create many such interesting patterns to make the children understand. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 1 under the topic shapes and patterns. The first video we saw about lines. In the second video we saw about shapes. And in this video we saw how to create patterns using lines, shapes, objects, alphabets and numbers. In the upcoming video we will be creating worksheets using shapes and patterns. Each of these topics are dealt with in separate videos. Links to all the related videos are given below in the description box. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the next topic, Shapes and Patterns. If you like the quality of my video, give a thumbs up and do share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button for regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.